Even if you're not much of a cook, you've probably heard of corn oil. It's a popular product found in most kitchens, and it's pretty versatile. But is it good for you from a health perspective? Well, today, here at Bestie, we're gonna find out. Before we serve up some knowledge about corn oil, why don't you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell too? We give you fun new videos each and every day. Corn oil isn't only used in kitchens, it's actually got a number of jobs, from industrial uses to cosmetics. You've probably used olive oil before because of all its health benefits, but could corn oil be a better option? What are the health benefits and does it have any negative effects? Keep watching to find the answers to all of these questions and more. First things first, what is corn oil? Corn is one of the most popular crops grown across the globe. Because it's so readily available and one of the cheapest on the market, that makes it very popular. When you think of corn, oily probably isn't in the description. Because corn isn't really that oily, it has to be pressed to separate the actual oil from the kernels. The oil from this process is then put through refinement and steam distillation before you end up with the finished product. There are a few different kinds of corn oil to watch out for, ones that have a higher smoke point and organic or cold pressed corn oil. The first one, the one with the higher smoke point, means it's great for cooking. Because of the low price and fairly neutral flavor that won't affect what you're cooking, corn oil is a popular choice. However, research has shown that when non-organic corn oil is heated, it can actually be harmful to your body. This particular refined corn oil is the one made from GMO corn. When heated, like in the deep fryer, it can produce a harmful anti-nutrient called acrylamide. This particular compound has been labeled as a potential carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. PubMed also says that acrylamide has also been linked to problems with hormones and muscle function, as well as nerve function, which all sounds pretty scary. But before you decide to ditch the corn oil, wait until you hear some of the health benefits coming up soon. If you purchase organic, unrefined corn oil or cold-pressed corn oil, you can avoid some of these troublesome side effects as these particular oils have a lower smoke point and have many great health benefits. This type of oil can be used in the kitchen, but also in the medicinal world and even as a massage oil. Now that we know a few different ways corn oil can be made, let's take a look at the health benefits of corn oil. As a general rule, unrefined organic corn oil will have more health properties than the refined GMO type of corn oil. Something to keep in mind as we continue. Corn oil has anti-inflammatory properties. This is generally good and is something that can help protect your body from diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and possibly cancer. That's because corn oil is full of a plant-based compound called phytosterols. However, more research needs to be done on this particular topic. The anti-inflammatory properties of corn oil can also help to relieve symptoms of arthritis, headaches, and even some stomach issues. Keep in mind, if you're using the refined type of oil, these benefits can be outweighed by some negative aspects. So you'll want to use that one sparingly to achieve any of the health benefits we just mentioned. It can improve the health of your vision. Lutein is something that can only be synthesized by plants, and when ingested, it can possibly reduce the free radicals in your body. Lutein can help protect your vision and possibly reduce the risk of cataracts forming. It can be good for your skin. Like we mentioned earlier, corn oil is sometimes used in the massage profession. If you're ingesting it or rubbing it on your skin, clinical science says that the antioxidants and tocopherols can help reduce the likelihood of skin infections, inflammation, irritation, and blemishes. However, this oil is high in fat, so you should use small amounts if you decide to add it to your skincare routine. It can possibly lower your risk of heart disease. Leolenic acid, vitamin E, and those phytosterols we mentioned earlier are all good heart healthy things. We could continue with more heart healthy facts, but we figured you should know that the many studies that showed these types of results were often paid for by the company that owns and manufactures corn oil. Those are some great benefits, but like we mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can't have the good without the bad. Here are some of the negative aspects of using corn oil. Weight gain. It's easy to use lots of oil when cooking, 
Because corn oil can withstand a lot of heat, it's often used when deep frying food. That means the food is basically dunked in this very fatty oil, which means the calories of whatever you're eating when cooked this way will probably have gone way, way up. If you have a diet that uses a lot of corn oil, chances are you're consuming extra calories at every meal that you may not be aware of. The deal with omega-6 fats. Omega-6 fats can be good for you if ingested in small amounts. According to Healthline, you should always balance out your omega-6 fatty acid with omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-6 fats promote inflammation, which in very small amounts is good for your body and helps protect it from disease. If you're a regular here at Bestie, you probably already know that too much inflammation can increase your risk of a number of different diseases, including, but not limited to, cancer, heart disease, obesity, and Alzheimer's. Most corn oil is made from GMO corn. New research is being discovered every day about whether or not genetically modified GMO foods are good for the population in general. While most food is deemed safe, using GMO corn has only been around for the last 20 years or so, so the long-term effects are not readily available. On top of that, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, GMO corn is often subjected to pesticides, like glyphosate. In 2015, the World Health Organization deemed this particular pesticide a probable carcinogen. Corn oil is highly refined. As we mentioned at the beginning of this video, when something is highly refined, it has to go through a long process before it can be safe to eat. When corn oil goes through this process, its compounds can become oxidized and increase your risk of disease. Not to mention the harmful anti-nutrient acrylamide we mentioned at the beginning of this video, which has been labeled as a possible carcinogen by the International Agency on Cancer Research. So, does the good outweigh the bad? Is corn oil healthy? In our opinion, and with all the information we just provided, we say that there are definitely healthier oils out there for you, like olive and coconut oil. We suggest, if you can, you should probably avoid corn oil as your go-to cooking oil. And that's the video! What did you think about this topic? Do you cook with corn oil often? What other plant-based oils do you use when cooking your favorite meals? Let us know in the comments section below which plant-based oil you use when cooking in the kitchen. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.